Right, hello, I'm Matt from Reezy College and what we're going to do today is recap LVO4 task 1 which was steering. Okay, so before we start any task what we always do is make sure that we do a risk assessment, ramp checks and obviously our PPE. Okay, so not only do I want a list of PPE but I need to know why we're wearing it. Okay, so make it job relevant, so uh, this one, dropping a threat at any foot or something like that, for example of, of your boots. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do now, obviously I need to put mine on, make sure my glasses are on, I've got my boots on, very cream, um, I'm wearing not gloves today. For this task, gloves aren't necessarily very cream, it's more than ample. Okay, for my job card I'll need the vehicle details, so the reg number, approximate year, the make, the model and the vehicle identification number, the 17 digit code uh, of the vehicle. Okay, the customer request is to remove and refit a steering arm ball joint, which is trap red end. Uh, and what we're going to do now is going to do a quick reminder of how to fill in the description, a brief description. So we're just going to do a quick reminder of that, okay? At the end, we'll come in and we'll do, deal with the talk, uh, technical information, so the toe in, toe out, and the torque figures, okay? So first of all, let's come over to the car. And what first thing I'd do, obviously, I'd, with the wheel, shake it left to right, make sure the steering lock's off to see if there's any play in that trap red end, okay? I've done that, I've taken the wheel off. Okay, so next I want to identify the trap red end. So I fill up the steering arms, which connect to the steering rack and the tractor end on the back of the hub. It's not always on the back of the hub, sometimes it's on the front of the hub, but this one's situated at the back. Okay, so first thing I'd do, obviously I'd have to clean it all up, wire brush everything, because as you can see, this hasn't been apart before, so it'd, it'd be a bit more difficult than is if it had. Okay, so I'd crack this off at half a turn, this locking knot, half a turn, no more than that, that is more than enough. And then I could go set about on doing this knot. Okay, this is a nylon knot, not that there's much left, because it's heavily corroded, but that's cars, okay? So I'd undo that, uh, I'd probably have to end up hitting the side here, not the top, never hit the top, you'll damage it. Hit the sides and that'll give it enough shock to drop it out. I then unscrew it counterclockwise, count my turns um, to see how, how many turns it come off. So it made it easier when I put the new one on. Same amount of turns, so I wind it back on, same amount of turns. This makes it a lot easier when I come to my tracking, because by tracking, I lengthen and shorten the distance here to move the back of the, the hub forwards and backwards, okay? So once that's back in, I can nip that up. I'm not going to tighten that totally because I've got to track the vehicles. I'm just going to nip it up and then I can put the, the track red end back in and tighten it at the top, okay? Now, I'd put the wheel back on and torque the wheel up at this point. So then I'd have to take it to track engages. So as you can see, blue Peter moment. Here's one we did earlier. So you can see the Nissan is all set up on the ramp, ready for its tracking. Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure that I have my Steering wheel pump before I sent it up. I pump the steering wheel in the straight ahead position and make sure it can't move. Because if it moves, it means the steering's going to turn and I won't be able to track the vehicle correctly. I'll be constantly, my figures will be moving and it makes it very difficult. So if I turn the gauges on, as you can see, the gauges, three points of contact. Must be touching the, the wheel itself, not the tyre, and it must be level. As you can see, this is on the uh, Steering plates as well, which means less contact, easier to turn, and that will also help me track the vehicle. So if you turn both the gauges on, I can then take a quick reference. So if I look at my back flags, that'll give me an indication of how far out it is. I'm after the same number on each side. So on this one, it's just under four on this side. And again, on the other side, it's just under four. Okay, then I come to my front flags. I think. Right, so the tracking for this vehicle, I got a photo data, is half a mil, positive half a mil, so uh, two out half. Okay, so if I look at my gauges, I've got just under four there, and just under four there, but you can see one's green, one's red, so one's negative and one is positive. If I add them together, that gives me zero. So at the moment, I know this is sat on zero, not the half I need but half a mil isn't a lot, it would have been within tolerance. But to adjust it, what I do is I come under. So as we had the steering, the locking up before, which we would have cracked off, we would crack that back off and loosen it. That allows us to turn the steering arm. So if I just get the spanner and turn the steering arm, you'll see the opposite front flag move. Let me just get the right size spanner. And that should be moving now, you should see that move and then obviously that's not turning the steering arm very far and that does that front one and this rear flag so if you come and look at the other rear flag you should be able to see 
move it back to just move back to under four and you'll see our on one side works so then I'll let it back up check my gauges and then I lock the locking nuts back up make sure they're nice and tight and then I can road test the vehicle and make sure that the steering wheel is in the straight ahead position and the vehicle is running true and straight okay uh, so if we go back to technical information, which is the last thing we need to address on this job card now. As I said, the towing tow outs were positive plus uh, half a mil, 0.5 millimetres. And the uh, torque setting we'll need is for the road wheels at 110 newton metres. Okay. The special tools used is a torque wrench. We need to make sure the calibration sticker is on that and within date. Uh, the tracking gauges, obviously, are a special tool we need. Uh, and further thoughts found on this one would have heavily corrosion on the tracking, uh, track red end and the steering arm. Okay, so that should have covered everything you need for your job card. Uh, I hope that you found that helpful and uh, goodbye. <laughs>